Hey everybody, welcome to Journey Through the Generations, and it's time for another episode of Relative Race Recap. We made it another week. We did. And that was a long week, too. It seemed like it was, but, you know, we got that extra hour. Yeah, I think so, that messed me up for sure. Yeah, I'm going to be messed up until two weeks before we change the time back. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just messed up anyway. Uh, really? Thank you so much for that. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's hard um, to believe that we are at episode eight. That means there's only two episodes and only one episode where they're actually going to meet. There's only one family member left. Yeah, and that, that went by fast. I'm so fast. It just... And the thing that I'm really enjoying, and maybe this is why it's going by so fast, is that... Every team is meeting siblings, parents, first cousins. And it just seems like it doesn't matter how far along the season gets. They're still meeting close relatives. Yep. And the whole, you know, adoption part of the story, right, Mm -hmm. is intriguing anyway. Right. They'll never be able to go back from that. Who never knew these Mm -hmm. people. And, yeah, I don't see how they're going to at least – I mean, I think they should at least have one team that's not, you know, adopted and don't know their family. Just maybe they just don't know. Mm-hmm. Or and it could be other, you know, whatever it is, situations where you don't know a side of your family or something like that. Yeah, but it, I understand it's it's really intriguing to say I've never met one single person in my biological family. And then you go along 10 straight days, hopefully, Mm -hmm. of, you know, telling them who their people are. Right. And it's like they're meeting. People like it more. Yeah. And it's like they're meeting people for the first time that look like them. And I have no idea what that what that feels like, because I obviously look like somebody in my family. Um, So I think that's like you said, it's so intriguing that they are having these kind of moments. That is true. I would have to imagine that. Um, it's weird to see somebody that look like you or yeah, you it look is. like. And I can agree. That is weird. So, um, well, so this episode started off, of course, uh, with Jarrell and Amani. Um, as you may mm. or may not know, they got, uh, I said, you voted, voted, off. voted off. I think I did that last <laughs> week. Too, did, yes, he did it last <laughs> week. I think I said he did it. Yes. Um, they got that third strike yes. and they are eliminated from the game. And so um, because they had that golden ticket, which I need your assistance on. Okay, because I'm... I do not remember <laughs> anything about a golden ticket. And it feels like everybody got one. Yes. Or he talked about when it. When did this that ep- happen? The t- Dan talked about it in this episode because I, I was confused too. Oh, sorry. He said that in the bag that they got on day one, you know, it has your cell phone, um, your maps and everything in it. And in that bag was your golden ticket. So everybody got a golden ticket in that bag. They didn't know it was there, though. We didn't know what it was for, though. I don't think they knew that it what it was. Right. Yeah. No, we didn't know what it was going to be used. You know, I think I may remember because I think I said it may some may have something to do with day 10. Yes. If you that's get what there. we thought. Yes, we thought it was going to be a day 10 benefit or something like that. Mm-hmm. But it is to be able to see one last relative if you get three strikes before day nine. Um, and I will say that um, Team Green said that if they could, they would give their golden ticket to the red team. And that way they would have two and they would actually get to meet their last person. But I don't think they're actually going to let them do that. Yeah. But it was a nice thought. Yeah, it was. And I think Team Green gave them their phone else call. Yeah. Their video earlier. chat or something like that that they won. Yeah. Um, but if you remember last week, Jarrell met his sister and his grandmother. And before they went to meet this last relative, um, with the golden ticket, his grandmother gave him the blanket that he was brought home from the hospital and she had kept it for 26 years to be able to give it to him. And I thought that was just the sweetest thing. Yeah, it looked thick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, so I, guess, I don't know when he was born and what time of the year, but in I mean, Ohio, it could be really cold. I was going to say, so. but you always bundle up a baby, but I know, but. 
It wasn't that hospital one that <laughs> no, they give you that with the blue and pink stripe on it. No, it wasn't. But yeah. I thought that was really nice, and that really seemed to really touch him that she kept that all these years um, with anticipation that you know she was gonna be able to give it back to him. Yeah. So, and of course, everybody else was um, chit chatting with their families and. Um, getting prepared for uh, the day, right? Their maps and all that good stuff, and uh, of course the benefit from last week. Team Green won first place last week, right? Again, yes. Which I think is their fifth or sixth, sixth time, sixth win, which is crazy. But um, but anyway, uh, they have the benefit today or this episode of moving up a spot at the end of right. the day. Um, so, so either way, they're good. They're good. And mm-hmm. they was like, well, we still going to go all out and try to get first place. Mm-hmm. And Blue Team said that too. Yeah. Everybody, you know, doesn't matter if they have no strikes or one strike, if they're guaranteed to day 10, everybody wants to win because I feel like they want that benefit of whatever the first place prize would be for that yeah. day so what's the strike count right now with with Those Jarrell three. and Amani gone yeah. um, the black team has two strikes the green team has one strike and the blue team has zero okay that's right mm-hmm. that's right I wonder I think this might be the first time if blue goes next week without getting a strike they'll be the first team in relative race history, history mm-hmm. to not, not get, a get a strike in the whole season. Right. And that, they've been in second place every time except for one week, right? Yes. Uh, they were like in third. They were in third place. So, yes, they're always in the middle ground. Yeah, they've never won. Right, right. which would be interesting because they're always in the middle of four. So, how are they going to place with them only being three teams today? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, everybody... You know, got started along their way. Yeah, and it didn't seem like any neither of the teams had that much trouble navigating from their relative's house to get um, on their way to their new city. Um, it looked like everybody did really well. Yeah, it was just, I don't know, it wasn't too much to it. It mm-hmm. seemed like everybody got out well yeah. and but it's day eight, didn't have so a problem. I, I mean, I would think everybody could get to the freeway well by we now. said that last week but they did good this week <laughs> so they did good so um everybody was driving uh, some text messages were <laughs> sent around um as oh, usual text messages um team red sent a thank you message out to all the teams yeah, and, and they wish, responded back yeah, that was sweet. which was good yeah yeah so they could take it easy. Right, I mean, right. They, they were weren't driving racing. with no pressure. Yeah, no clock, no they challenge. Just, they were just chilling, mm-hmm. which is cool. Yeah, they know. left their you know relative's house and immediately went to the next relative house. So that was a good trip for them. Yeah, and everyone else was, you know, go go go. We got to get to our On destination. The clock. Mm-hmm. So everybody got to the challenge. I can say I would not have liked this challenge. You would not have liked that challenge. We would have timed out. I think I would have liked it, except for the one that makes you dizzy, which Kaylee was having a problem with it making her Her sick. Nauseous, right. And I was just like, just don't hold it back. Just throw up. (laughs) Get it over Get it out the way, and then go back, and you'll be good. No. Nobody and wants to throw up did. on TV. I know nobody wants to, but <clears throat> this is a competition. You're true. So. I mean, it's true. But no, I would not have done well on this at this one. And it was called um, Double Vision for a very good reason. They had to put on these um, goggles that alter your vision. And then you had to throw a ball and had to catch and other your other teammate had to catch it. Um, you had to do it three times with three different pair of goggles that altered your vision in different ways. Yeah, I think I would have been okay with two of the three. The one that turned your vision upside down would have been a problem. Yeah, I just, yeah, no. I already have problems with my vision. I don't need True that. <laughs> I don't need any help not being able to see. But if you had taken your glasses off and put those on, that may have improved your vision. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
he would not have. <laughs> oh, he has jokes today. <laughs> Look at him. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty funny how people would bend down to pick up the ball and just miss it all together. Yeah, or not be anywhere around it. Yeah, that was funny. And the twins, one of them kept turning around and thinking that they were facing their partner, but they had their back to him the whole time. <laughs> that was funny. So, yeah. yeah. She was like, turn around. <laughs> yeah. So I can say that all the teams equally struggled with this, <laughs> with this one. Yeah, for sure. But it looked like it was fun. I would have enjoyed it, I think. Um, To me, it's like you are standing in one spot the whole time. You know, you're just changing your goggles. So if if you you can try to throw the ball at the same speed and height, Right. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Maybe. Except for the upside down ones. That would have been horrible. But if you miss, you have to go get the ball and you can't take your goggles off to go right. get the ball. So then you don't know if you're still in the same spot that you started in. That's true. Anyway. It was fun to watch. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to do it, though. <laughs> yeah, so. it was pretty funny. So, so everybody got through their challenge. Uh, everybody had issues. And so it wasn't anything really... No, you know, since they all struggled, it was, yeah. I mean, it was still even playing field, I feel. Yeah, for sure. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. And so they all got their uh, relatives' um, addresses, and they started on their way to get there. I don't recall there being any real issues with navigating that they showed on TV. They showed Team Black. Did they have issues? Yeah, I don't they, remember. They, um, because I guess she had a city map. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They were trying to figure out how to get to the street from where they were. Yeah, she kept telling her which way to go left, right, left, or right. Left. She was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to read the map. I don't know. I'm reading the map. <laughs> and I'm, I don't just, know, I'm, I'm the like, map. at that point, just pull over for a few minutes, get your bearings, and have two sets of eyes on the map, and that might help. And then just go because you need to find where you are currently and where you need to and go and where you need to go mm-hmm. and get the map turned in the right direction so you're facing the direction that you need to go and I mean, you know i don't know if they're any good at reading maps or not that may have hurt their time I'm gonna say no but for somebody who knows how to read a map it's better i think i know how to read a map so for me <laughs> it would be better <laughs> if we just stop let me get my myself where i know where i am and we'll get there i feel like we would have done that a lot because although i'm good at you know getting to the freeway and you know knowing where to go there but once we actually get in the city and i don't know where i'm going i wouldn't know how to read a city map so i feel like we would be stopping a lot to find out where we are in the city map yeah well i don't know you know you just kind of do what you can right but i will say that none of them stopped and asked for directions this time it seemed like they all had um either well team blue i think they're back in mississippi and that's where they're from so they were i think a little familiar with the city that they were um in but it seemed like everybody else didn't nobody else asked for directions um and they just went off of the map yeah that's true they are from mississippi or have been in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Or used to live in Mississippi or something like that. Something. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they, they knew where they were going. Uh, but everybody else were new to the area. Because mm-hmm. so, they're still in Arizona. Yes. Both Green teams are in black. Arizona. Wouldn't it be crazy <clears throat> if next Sunday they met up at the same house and they that, would be family that would I'm telling be you, i've been talking about that for like <laughs> since you started watching this show a few years now and i'm like it would be great mm-hmm. if you could connect two teams together and have them show up at the house that would be at yeah. the, you know can you imagine because that one would obviously get there before the other one and then they show up yeah that would actually be really that cool. would be crazy that would be really good that would be some good tv right there yeah so all right so everyone got to their family members home mm-hmm. and clock so stopped. the clock stopped so let's talk about um who everyone met okay. so i don't know who you want to start with but 
the one that I found probably most interesting was Stephen mm-hmm. um, meeting his sister. Yes, this because um, he met her son last, last week. time. Yeah, so it was very it was cool that he got to meet her sister this time, and her name is Becky. Becky, yes, mm-hmm. and that and that to, for me it was because he was able to get more information. About his dad. Yes, and, this is his sister on his dad's side. And some clarity, you know, even as though it was her get. opinion, mm-hmm. but some clarity on his dad and whether he knew about him or not, would he have wanted them or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. So yeah. I, I just thought that was good for Stephen to be able to get that mm-hmm. information. And, yeah, because that and do was. with it whatever he wanted. Yeah, that was one of the questions he just came out and asked, did he know about me? Mm -hmm. Um, So that's something that he definitely wanted to know. And he seemed okay with the answers that he was able to get. And this is the one out of five chances in this family of brothers that will be alive. And we found out that he is. So he's really Mm -hmm. hoping that he'll get to meet him next week on day nine, the last day. Yeah, I hope so. Because that's going to be... A great moment. Mm -hmm. So I hope that he wanted to participate and uh, and we see that next Mm -hmm. next week. Yeah, that would be that would be a really good reunion. Yeah. So she was also able to share pictures and talk about a brother who had 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 died and, Mm -hmm. um, you know, some other uh, family photos and things allow him to like we just talked about you know see somebody that he looks you know like. that he looks like yeah and it always um, amazes me and I don't know why because I have a vast collection of family photos but it always amazes me when they pull out these photos and they just go down the line of this is who this person is and this person this is how we're related um, and it kind of makes me think that's how people see me when I get my photo albums out and that's the way I talk to people um, our family when we all get together and I pull out our photos Mm -hmm. Um, and then team blue now this was interesting because we didn't meet someone on JT's side of the family we met Kaylee and it was which I didn't think we were ever I didn't either no she met a cousin on her dad's side um and she said this is the side of the family that she knew the least amount about and um her cousin madeline madeline um and she i'm gonna say she's the family historian of the family it seemed she like it she knew had, a lot of yeah everything. she had pictures of her great 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 grandfather she knew where they were from in italy she had been to italy in the small town that they her family had um immigrated from she had their you know ship manifest records yeah um she knew when they had come through ellis island she was able to tell kaylee all about her family and exactly where to go in italy to be able to go to the cemetery that um has a lot of their ancestors buried there now, I can't recall everyone, but it seems like this is the first time that I can remember them being able to connect the family to an international destination. Right? I would agree with that. Yeah. So um, this was pretty, you know, all of our family are from Italy. Mm-hmm. And. That'd be fantastic. I'd be like, okay, I need to win I'm, this I'm, uh, I'm money on, right, so I can so go. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, because like I said, she knows the the small town where her family was from and everything. So she knows exactly where to go to be able to either research or even just, like she said, mm-hmm. walk in the same streets and community that her ancestors walked in hundreds of years ago. Yeah. And so that was pretty cool mm-hmm. that... Uh, She was able to hear that story. It sounded like she knew that she had some Italian in her. Mm -hmm. Um, She didn't say that, but she She seemed to be agreeing with that. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't, well, you just, you can't see it in people. But but especially her speech, you know, is more Southern. Southern, Mississippi, yeah. So, I mean, I guess... When you've been here that long, you not, don't <laughs> you talk kinda lose Italian my anymore. But um, 
But anyway, I, but I wouldn't have guessed that. No, so. I wouldn't have. No. But she was, you know, really receptive. She seemed to really um, enjoy learning all about her family. Um, and JT seemed to be just as excited to see her meet somebody. So I thought that was really neat that, that she was able to meet someone. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So um, and then Team Black, they, this was cool, too. They actually, um, Pam and uh, Christine. Chris, Christine. No, Christine. I think it's Christine. Christine. Um, they met sisters, half sisters. <laughs> yes, on their um, dad's side. Named Rachel and Sam. Correct. And they are much younger. <laughs> yes, 18 and 23 or yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, something like that. And I didn't so, realize that Christine and Pam were almost 40. Yeah, I probably would have guessed that. Yeah, they're 39. Yeah. So I didn't I don't think I knew that or mm-hmm. I missed that part. Um so yes, these are their younger sisters. Yep. So apparently their father had uh three marriages mm-hmm. and kids obviously within those um those marriages. So but they were able to I guess they were the ones that was with him most recently. Correct. And was able to you know share I don't know. I feel like they were trying to hold back a little mm-hmm. bit about him. Yeah, I agree. I feel like maybe when the cameras turned off, they were able to say more, say everything. Right. So. But they did tell um, the twins that he kept their baby picture. And that's how they knew about um, that. They had these sisters out there somewhere because he had a um, a baby picture of them in his wallet that he kept. Is he still here with us? He's still living, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll get that next week, too. Maybe. If he wanted to participate. Maybe. Mm. So it was interesting for them to get to know each other. They It looked like they spent some time out on the, on the boat. Yes. And again, I know I keep, I feel like a broken record, but as soon as the sisters saw Pam and Christine, they said, oh, my God, you look just like our dad to Christine. Mm-hmm. And then every picture that they showed him, they were like, oh, well, this is what you're going to look like when you get older. Yeah. Look, they, ju- <laughs> look just alike. Yes. He looks more like Christine than Pam does in their twins. Oh, yeah. I still think it's interesting that they both look so different from each yeah, other. Yeah, one looks exactly like the mom and one looks exactly like the dad. Like mm-hmm. even, I mean, I don't know a ton of um multiples but I, the ones i have known or have seen even the fraternal ones have they still sort of kind of look alike yeah they don't the, they, they don't look yeah their anything skin alike. tone is different their the shape of their heads are different their hair coloring is different yeah they just yeah i mean i'm sure it happens oh, it's yeah. just i've never I've seen never known it before it. so and then uh, our good friends, Jarrell and Amani, even though they aren't a part of the game, they met Jarrell's cousin, Kai, mm-hmm. um, which was cool. She was the most bubbly person. <laughs> <laughs> she was happy. Right. And I feel like she was being reserved, <laughs> even though it didn't. For anybody else, she would be like extra, but I feel like she was holding it in a little bit. But all of the other cousins that we've met of his so I far, like that, I yeah. like that. I mm-hmm. mean, I and think, he said outside of the show, he's like that too. Well, uh, somebody's gonna have to show me that because <laughs> I just don't believe it. That's what he said. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they were able to do a Zoom mm-hmm. call with some other with family the other members. family members. Yeah. Um, and some of their kids. Mm-hmm. So, it ended up being on quite a few of them. So they were able to meet and talk to some family, which was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, I'm happy for Jarrell and Amani. Um, I know that they'll be able to continue their journey, go oh, back yeah. and, you know, be able to um, visit these mm-hmm. folks. A lot of them are close right. to him. So it shouldn't be much of any work to get to mm-hmm. to get to them. Um, but yeah, much success and, uh, to them, I hope everything else goes great. I think it's going to be really good for them and they seem really happy with all the people that they've met and he is just, you know, I'm just so glad that he was able to meet 
you know, his brothers and his mom. And it just seems like he got a lot of the answers that he's been wanting. Okay, so let's get to the results. So um, the winner of today will get a challenge benefit next Sunday. Correct. And don't forget that Team Green has their benefit from last week Mm -hmm. that automatically moves them up one spot. In the results. In the results. Right. So with that said, let's go ahead and go with the the, uh, results. Okay. Well, Team Blue came in first place. Finally, (laughs) they got a first place finish. They finally did. And they did really good. Yeah, they did really good. They were only two minutes over their time. Um, so they, they were ex- very excited, which they should be because they've been in the middle of the road the entire season. So they finally won. And they're guaranteed to go to day 10. Yes. They, yes, they have been for, you know, a one of thing days. I have noticed that is that times have been very close all season, mm-hmm. you know, yes, except for, I think day one or day two, but yes, other yeah. than that one, um, all the, it's been within 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. And then second place was Team Green. Yes. And, of course, that means Team Black received their third strike. Yes. But before we get to the strike, you have to remember that Team Green has that advantage. So they actually came in first place because they moved up in the results because they won first place yesterday. So although Team Blue got their first win, they really didn't. They came in second again. Right. (laughs) That's not funny. Crazy. It just, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. Though. I mean, it just works out. So That's the way it works out. So that's first place seven times. Yes. And so Team Green get the the challenge advantage next yeah. week because they officially came in first place. Yes. So yes, Team Black got their third strike. But they have their ticket. They have their ticket. So, so they'll they get will, to meet everybody. They'll get to meet their final relative next week, which they are really happy about. Um, they said that. You know, they came into this not knowing anybody but each other, and they've met sisters, um, they've met cousins, and they have all of the information that they need to be able to continue to grow their family. Um, And did we mention that their um, parents called them on the way? So I just thought about that, and we did not mention it. So, you know, you know, I just want to mention it real quick and ask you. Did, was that some sort of win they got? Because no one else got phone calls. Well, you know, Amani and Jarrell got a call from somebody they met on day one or two. I don't remember. Was it their brothers? I don't remember. But didn't they get uh, gifted that from no. Team Green? No, that was just something that happened. Oh, it was the um, cousin that they met and the wife fostered him. They called the next day. Mm. But... No, it wasn't a win. It's just something that happened. Mm, um, but okay. their parents called. Um, and of course, that you know, trying to give them encouragement and let them know that they were, you know, proud of them and praying for them. And I thought that was really nice. Yeah. So so a good episode uh, overall. I really enjoyed it. Um, congratulations to uh, the three teams mm-hmm. today. You're going to get to meet all your relatives, which is good. That's the, yeah, that's why you came on the show. Yeah. So. So that's very, very good. Um, Do you have anything else? No. Okay. So we really appreciate you guys for listening. Thank you for joining us again this week. Come back again next week where we'll talk about episode nine as we head into um, day 10 and we find out who will win. Mm -hmm. And what those challenges are going to be. Yeah, that's going to be interesting too. So. Um, all of our social media information is in the description below. Um, check us out um, on our social media and stop by and say hello. And I think we'll call that a day. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for listening. Y'all take care. Be safe.